This segment is sponsored by Get America Covered. This past week, more Americans signed up for health coverage than during any other week of the year. But what if you've not yet selected your health plan? Joshua Peck is the national co-chair of Get America Covered, and he's here to tell us what we need to know to make the right choice in a health plan. Hi, Josh. Good morning. So what do we need to know to sign up? Well, this is the one time, this is open enrollment, the one time a year where anyone between 18 and 65 can sign up for coverage if they don't get it through their employer. Tuesday, December 15th is your last chance to sign up for 2021 health coverage. If you miss the deadline, you'll need to wait almost a full year to enroll. Yikes. Okay, that do not put it off. Let's talk about cost. What does it cost for, for health care these days? Quality comprehensive coverage is more affordable than most people think. This year, two out of three healthcare.gov customers in Michigan can find a plan with a monthly premium of $75 or less. Last year, over 50,000 uninsured Michigan residents were eligible for plans with a $0 monthly premium. Hmm. Let's talk about the pandemic. It's impacting everything in our lives, so why not this too, right? Uh, is there anything we need to know because of the pandemic? You know, we always say that people should get coverage because accidents happen and people get sick. This year, that's more true than ever, with hundreds of thousands of people testing positive for the coronavirus each day. Coverage gives you peace of mind and protects you and your family from the unexpected. Uh, and every plan sold at healthcare.gov is required to offer coronavirus testing for free and mm -hmm. the vaccine when it becomes available. Very nice. How does a person qualify for a lower cost plan? Eight out of 10 healthcare.gov customers qualify for financial help to make their monthly premiums more affordable. A lot of people assume that help isn't for them, but it's actually designed to make coverage more affordable for working families. For example, a family of four with a household income as high as $100,000 a year is eligible for financial assistance. Now, you mentioned the deadline, and this is critical. Again, as you say, a, a year's wait if we don't get in. To talk a little bit about that. There's no, there's no escaping that deadline. Well, you know, there are a couple of special circumstances. If you have a child, if you move to a new state, um, there are some th so things called special enrollment periods. But for most people, you'll need to wait a full year before, you know, until next year's open enrollment period. Mm. All right. Well, for more information on open enrollment, visit getamericacovered.org. You can find a link to that site at 13onyourside.com. Josh, thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Thanks for having me.